Hello everybody, thank you very much for taking the time to listen into this quick video. I just wanted to update you on recent events and how we can help you to support your child learning at home. Just to think about uh, practicalities, we're running with our food bank for Aussies vulnerable families and we've had a tremendous two days with lots and lots of donations of suitable foods. Please keep on doing that. Obviously with last night's lockdown, you probably want to make a walk past school your daily exercise, um, but please do continue. We're planning on keeping some form of opening throughout the school closure. So somebody each day will collect donations and distribute them. Should your family be struggling, please let us know. On that note, obviously, no contact with anybody at school um, as you drop them off and just for your information the front office will be closing as of four o'clock tuesday the 24th of march we can no longer staff it we have a considerable number of staff now unable to come into work with illness or self-isolation or quarantine so the front office is a luxury we simply do not have there will be nobody answering the telephones if you need to contact us, please try the office at email, which is being monitored remotely, and we will direct your emails to whoever needs them. Better than that, on the website, under the Contact Us page, you will find a list of all our teachers and the subjects they teach, as well as the year groups that they tutor in. Your child will be able to tell you who you need, for what, and you can obviously submit work, ask questions, etc. All of the work is on the SIMS parent app. Students in year seven and eight also all have access themselves. In years five and six, we clearly need parents to access that learning and help us. We have run with providing roughly the same amount of learning as for that subject as your child would receive if they were in school that week. So four hours for English, four hours for maths, um, etc. Less in all other subjects. Right here and now, we know there is English and maths for everybody and lots of other things for everybody, although not necessarily the same at this moment in time. As staff are working from home, please be aware that we have many part-time workers and if working days are Thursday and Friday, perhaps, for your child's history teacher, there may not yet be history up there, but there will be after the end of this week. Also be aware, please, that staff working from home will have caring responsibilities. We have lots of teachers who are parents of young children, and we've asked them not to send those young children to school, obviously. So we are working around, all of us, our commitments at home, our caring responsibilities and in some case being unwell ourselves. Patience required. Um, please do email any members of staff that you need to to seek help. Also the school Facebook page is a wealth of information and suggestions and we are trying to post something regularly to help you with learning. For instance, today, Steve Backshaw is doing an educational broadcast in the morning that we've posted on Facebook. Please follow the Facebook page so that you're able to signal things to your child. I also wanted to share with you BBC Teach, which is on my screen now and is an amazing resource for parents. You can obviously choose for year five and six primary, for year seven and eight secondary, and there's all kinds of suggestions of ways to keep children's brains busy and learning. The Super Movers helps you with um, activity within the home and is quite exciting. There's lots of excellent video resources. Um, for example, there is a new Blue Planet video which comes with worksheets, etc. There is quite a lot of information on World War II. There's some Holocaust learning. All of Year 7 have just finished reading The Boy in the Striped Pyjamas. Um, it's organised by subject area. There is so much on here. If you feel that your child needs more than is set on Sims, please steer them here. And we cannot clearly cope with supplying individual resources to individual 
children. That's unrealistic given with what we're managing. So I ask you to have a look at this website in particular. There are many others um, and use the excellent resources that are here. There's also some live lesson recordings and some really interesting um, off topic and on topic learning. This is a tremendous chance to be inquiry led, to let your child decide what they're interested in and to delve deep. And we will teach them independence, research skills, um, in allowing them, perhaps more than we normally allow them, to go off topic. We'll deal with the set curriculum and please at home support an adventure into all of the rest. In addition to this, at least once a week, I will be setting a head teacher challenge, which I'll set up with a little video. The first will be live tomorrow, and I'll be asking students to really throw themselves into the challenge. It will be cross-curricular and out of the box, and submit to me. And instead of our lovely hot chocolate Friday, I'll be posting out head teacher awards for people that impress me. It won't necessarily be the highest standard, it will be effort and imagination and creativity that is rewarded and again that's out of the box learning I will not have set ideas in my mind of what I'm expecting. Would you please make sure finally that you keep your children writing it would be easy to overlook writing and to go talk heavy and hopefully reading heavy please have them read every day at least half an hour every day we shouldn't take our eye off writing so if you can keep them writing, every child in school has a decent joined script and this needs to keep going for speed, um, if at all possible. And if you could help them to proofread and think about the cohesion within the piece, that's really helpful. Thank you very much. I will be in touch again soon. Mrs Sawtell.